Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Let's talk about how a trench coat should fit and give you some ideas on styling them. If you're new here, I'm Alana Hope and I'm a fashion stylist and image consultant. I make videos for women who want to dress well, have an effortless, timeless sense of style and buy quality clothing. When it comes to getting the perfect fitting trench coat, there are three things that you want to pay attention to. The first one is the shoulders, the second is the waist and the third is the length. The other things you want to pay attention to when you're buying a trench coat is how timeless it actually looks. Does it have any really modern notions on it? Does it have any really modern prints or details on it that might make it date really quickly? The other thing you want to look out for always is quality. So in today's video, we're going to be talking all about those factors as well as showing you a few extra looks. So I actually got this trench coat for my birthday. It's from a sustainable Australian made brand called Victoria and Woods. I'm going to link the details to that coat down below if you wanted to check it out. When you're buying your very first trench coat, because it's such a classic timeless piece, I think it's really important to get that fit right. I think when it comes to picking clothing for yourself, that's going to be kind of long term pieces. Fit and quality matter more than how it works with your body shape. Because if you get the fit right, it is always going to work with your body shape. All right, so let's talk about some of the basic principles of getting the trench coat to fit perfectly on you. This type of coat should be skimming the figure. So that shoulder seam should be sitting right on the edge of your shoulder. You shouldn't have too much fabric pulling the shoulder down on your arm, and you certainly shouldn't have the shoulder of the garment pulling yourself up and creating a really rounded look on the upper part of your arm. What you want is more of a straight drop. When it comes to the waist of the garment, when you have this trench coat on, you first wanna make sure that you can actually do up most of the buttons. Usually you don't need to do up the very last button, that's often one that we leave undone, but the rest of them we should be able to do up without having any pulling coming across our hips, across our waist, or across our chest and the middle of our back. If we're having any pulling going on in these areas, but it does fit the shoulder, you need to size up. You need to be able to use this jacket or this coat as a usual coat. So if it is actually quite cold outside, you definitely want to be able to do it up comfortably. And you also want to be able to do it up and sit down if you need to as well. When it comes to the length of your trench coat, there are a lot of different lengths out there. There are some that end just past mid thigh, some that are just past the knee, just above the knee, some that are mid calf and others that are a full length trench coat that almost touched the ground. But to give you a universally flattering tip for buying a trench coat, you want to look for a trench coat that doesn't end in the thickest part of your calf. So if you're going for that traditional length, you want to make sure that that length is either just above the thickest part of your calf or just below the thickest part of your calf where your calf starts to angle down towards your ankle. If you want to go for a shorter trench coat, so one that is above the knee, just make sure it's not ending at the widest part of your hips. If it does, what this can often do is make you look a lot shorter in stature. When you're buying your trench coat, the sleeve length that you want to go for is either going to be where your hand and your wrist meet, there's that crease going across your wrist. That is where you want to have the jacket ending when your arm is down by your side. The other spot that you can have it is if you have a cuffed shirt on and your cuff ends here, you might want to have it ending perhaps here or here on the hand. So it could be where your thumb knuckle is, right where your hand starts to jut out or just on the cuff. So between these areas, you're okay to wear your jacket at its full length with its sleeve. You really don't want your sleeve to end past your thumb. You really don't want it ending past this part of your knuckle. When it starts to get into this territory, it starts to look sloppy and often look like it's too big for you. When you're choosing your fabric, what you want to make sure is that you are preferably going for a high quality fabric. So you're looking for a natural fabric. When it comes to the lining, it's really common for things to have lining made out of polyester, viscose. Some have a shell of a jacket on the inside, so it's not actually lined, but it's intentionally not lined. When you're buying your trench coat, you need to decide whether or not you want to have lining. Lining is always a sign of quality because it's extra fabric that that company has purchased to put in that jacket to make it sit even better. It's also 
also a little bit more insulation between you and the outside cold air. The other thing you want to look for when you're buying your trench coat as well is just make sure that you can actually look after the garment for its lifetime. So when you're buying your trench coat, check is it dry clean only? Are you actually going to be able to handle dry clean only? Do you have a dry cleaner nearby that you trust? All of that information, I think that's really important. So always check the garment tag. I think the other thing as well is just look for little signs of quality in other areas. Does it come with a spare button in case you have a button fall off your trench coat? Are the seams finished? Are there any loose threads anywhere that you can see? If there are any interior details or exterior details that are added to it to say there's some beading or there's some embroidery, just check that that's all finished off nicely before purchasing the coat and getting it home. You don't want a timeless piece like this to fall apart way before it needed to. So I'm just gonna talk you through a few looks that I put together with my trench coat. And this trench coat is kind of part of my winter capsule wardrobe. So I've pulled out a few looks that I really like wearing. This outfit for me is much more casual. I put on a pair of fitted leather pants. I had this shirt on with it. I just wore it untucked, put the trench coat over the top and I wore a pair of flat slip-on shoes, which are like a black and white speckled leather shoe and just a crossbody bag. And I just matched in the black of the pants with the bag and the shoes just to pull the outfit to Together. and it's a relatively neutral simple outfit but the trench coat gives it a little bit of something extra. The next outfit I had was a more work appropriate outfit. So I had a big woolly cashmere jumper on, it's like a high neck in a nice dark emerald green and I matched it with a pair of green work pants that are of a very, very similar shade and they're a bit cropped so they show off the length of my body when I put that coat on over the top just so I don't kind of over bulk myself. And then I've added in a nice pair of tan heels just to match in that trench coat. Now this last look is a bit more of a going out look. So I've put on a turtleneck knitted dress. It's a little bit more of a mini dress. And depending on how cold it is where you are, I mean, in Australia, our winters are, I guess, cold for us because we're used to our winters. But if you come over here, you might think I only need a cardigan. Uh, but for us, it's coat weather. And for me, I would wear this particular dress out. If it was a really cold night, I might put some tights or stockings on underneath. Um, but I just put on some thigh high boots and then I've got my trench coat over the top. And that is enough. If I was going out, it would be heated inside where I'm going. And this would be enough for our weather. If you want to get some more ideas on how to style a trench coat, I did a blog post and I've created an entire Pinterest board. So I'm going to leave the link to that down below so you can check out a few more tips that I've got on the trench coat and some ideas on styling it for different occasions. So if you're planning ahead for winter and you're thinking of getting a trench coat or you're thinking of adding to your wardrobe, I've actually got an online course you can take called the capsule plan, which is all about planning for the season ahead and creating a capsule wardrobe that works for your lifestyle. If you want to check that out, I'm going to leave the info to that down below as well. I hope you guys Guys enjoyed this video if you liked it like it if you want to subscribe please do and if you have any ideas for future videos please leave me a comment below I'll see you guys next Sunday